Good morning, everybody. Let's talk about the prophetic word. Thank you for being here. God bless you. Thank you for and welcome to all the new subscribers recently. Thank you for being a part of our live broadcasts and our study through the book of Hebrews. With that being said, hey, we're going to focus our attention in Jonah's prayer again. We're going to look at that. I've mentioned that before, but I'm going to focus our attention on the last part of his prayer to the Lord. He's, of course, you know the story. He's in the great the belly of the great fish. The fish came and swallowed him up, and now he sits having a conversation with God in that situation. And I want to say that many times, not everybody, but many people are confined, confound, confounded to, or confined to, if that's a word, to uh, their situations. They're limited to their circumstances and situation because God has placed them in your fish-like environment, your belly of the fish-like environment. Let me explain. He said here, but I will, in verse 9, John, Jonah chapter 2, verse 9, but I will sacrifice to you with the voice of thanksgiving. I will pay what I have vowed. Salvation is of the Lord. This makes me think that at one time, Jonah, it's not written in the story, but it's often the case that uh, when we commit our lives to the Lord, there's a lot of promises. Lord, I'll go wherever you want me to go. I'll do whatever you want me to do. And there's many of you that have made promises and vows to the Lord. I will do this, Lord. You get me out of this situation. I'll go wherever you want me to do, whatever. You know, God holds us to those vows, holds us to those promises. He will return just like he did with Jonah and said, okay, you're going to go wherever you want me to go, where I want you to go and uh, do whatever I want you to do. Go to Nineveh. What did Jonah do? He ran the opposite way, went into a boat, down to Tarshish, down in the boat. And then he was thrown overboard by the men on the boat and swallowed up by a great fish. And here he sits at the end of his prayer, realizing what he had done and looking back at the conversation originally he had with God and said, but I will sacrifice to you with the voice of thanksgiving. I realize where my help comes from. And I thank you, God. Not from this place of business, not from these people. My help comes from you. but I, So I will sacrifice to you with the voice of thanksgiving. I thank you, Lord, for reminding me in this confining place that I, I, I know that my help comes from you. The direction comes from you. I need to obey you. I need to, um, next thing, I will pay what I have vowed. I need to do what I said I was going to do. Salvation is of the Lord. So there are many of you that have said that you're going to do things and you're not doing it. There's many of you that have said that you're going to go in this direction. You're going to give in this way. You're going to do in this way. You're going to go down that road. You're going to obey God in these things. And God has said, you're not doing it yet. You're still not doing it. Paul addressed the Corinthian church about their giving. And he says, you promised to do this a year ago, and now I'm holding you to it. God will hold you to it also. That's the story of Jonah, where God says, you know what? You gave your life to me. Now I'm going to hold you to it. And so that's my encouragement to you today. Go do what you said you were going to do. Don't delay it. You're going to find yourself in a belly of a great fish situation before too long um, if you're not already there right now. Do what you said you're going to do and fulfill your vow. Thank the Lord for his provision and remember that salvation is of the Lord. God bless you guys.